Hi everyone, I'm Kate McCauley. Welcome to Sneak Peek Week. Today we are talking about the unwind jumper, sweater, pullover, what should we call it, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. It is super cozy, super comfy, and the best thing is you can make it out of literally any stretch knit fabric. Everything works. Now, if you watched our Pleats to Meet You video a couple of weeks ago, you will have seen this outfit already. This is the Pleats to Meet You pants, and it goes beautifully with the new Unwind. She is fabulously trans-seasonal. So whether you're in winter or summer or those in-between months, there are options available for you in this pattern. So let's talk about the features of the Unwind first, and then I will take you through all of the jumpers that I have made. The body of this top is really relaxed and easy and comfortable. The front and the back are all one piece, so you're not putting in a sleeve, it's just really easy. Um, the band, again, relaxed. It's not designed to pull you in. Um, and the cuffs, again, the same, relax. They're not designed to pull you in. Um, in the pattern hack section, um, I've done a little pattern hack, so if you really, really need <laughs> for your windshield to pull you in here, then there is that option. To make this jumper perfectly trans-seasonal, there are three sleeve lengths. There is the long sleeve, there is a half sleeve, which sits below the elbow, and then there is um, a soft, gentle, short sleeve. The long sleeve and the half sleeve are both cuffed and the short sleeve isn't. Now, there is three body lengths. There is a cropped, there is a hip, and there is a long line. So whatever your style or um, if you want to change it up with what you're, you're wearing it with, and I will show you some options in a minute, um, there is a length just for you. Oh, and the cropped length too, it's not super cropped. It's workable cropped, so um, with high waist um, skirts like the Heartlight or um, like the Symphony, or even with these pants, the cropped length is going to work. It's just a little bit shorter than this one, like five centimetres, two inches. Lastly, the necklines. There is a crew neck, which is this one. Now the crew neck is not, it's not super tight. It's just lovely and again, relaxed. Um, there is a relaxed neckline, which is a teeny bit wider and a teeny bit lower, and it's just easy. There is the turtleneck, and the turtleneck is shaped. Then there is a hood, and the beautiful thing about the hood is it's really, really easy to sew, and you can actually match it with other patterns like the BUT um, and the Keep It Simple, um, even the Endless Summer, to add that hood to those as well and we love our patterns to mix and match. Okay, let's talk about fabric. As I said earlier, the beautiful thing about this pattern, you can make it in anything. The only thing that you need to remember is, and I've talked about this a thousand times, is every different fabric has a different personality. So get to know your favourites. So for instance, um, a sweater knit like this one, it has drape, it's easy, See how you can kind of see my body through it? So um, it just makes it the perfect fabric for this jumper. You can use 100% cotton. Just know that because cotton has body, its personality is the dominant personality. So you kind of get a more, um, a more structured look. But again, I will show you and you can choose um, whichever one suits you. Um, one little tip, I find fabrics with body, um, they're better in the shorter lengths. So I'm gonna grab my sheet and I'm gonna tell you what works in this pattern. If you look at page six um, in your pattern, which is this one, you will see that you've got fabric requirements and then you've got your trims and your fabrics and your tools and all that sort of stuff. So um, I've got a little symbol that says um, best, good, and then be a rebel. So my best fabrics are four-way stretch knits because they're going to stretch. A four-way stretch knit will stretch across the body like this and it'll also stretch around the arm. So this is different from normal patterns. That Normal patterns, the stretch will go around the arm because it's a, a sleeve that's um, set in, whereas this one, your stretch is going down the arm. 
So we have four way stretch, it, the stretch will go around the arm as well. So that's not to say that the others don't work because they definitely do. So two way stretch we have got as good and then two way stretch without any give at all. So it's rigid, definitely can still actually use them. Um, and they're my, <laughs> in my be a rebel category. So I will show you, I've got one of those. So we've got sweater knit, hachi, French terry, wool knit, so like a gorgeous merino wool or a wool blend or anything like that. Um, a rib knit is great, just remember with rib, it is gonna uh, feel a little bit bigger on your body. Fleece, scuba, stretch velvet, Liverpool, cable knit, quilted knit, waffle knit, athletic knit like supplex, like a medium to heavyweight would be good. Sweatshirt fleece, minky, ponty, cotton lycra. I have one in cotton lycra, surprise, surprise. 100% cotton jersey. And then you know that mysterious fabric that you've got in the back of your cupboard? That will most likely work too. So it's literally anything, just Basically, just grab your fabric, hold it up in front of you, feel what its personality is. Is it going to drape? Is it going to have a lot of body? So is it going to be bulky or not bulky? Um, what's your season? And then just go from there because you can actually make it out of t-shirt fabric as well. So if you wanted to make this in um, more like a light t-shirt, you can do that too. So your rayons and your viscose and modal, um, beautiful soft fabrics like that are going to work as well. All right, let's get started on our styles. And as we go through, I will tell you um, what fabric is and whether it has body or whether it has drape so that you can see the difference if you're not sure um, what that terminology actually means. As I said before, this is the crew neck and a long sleeve. This is in a sweater knit. Um, it's just really simple, really easy to wear in the long sleeves with a cuff. Um, and it just has this beautiful, I don't know if you can see it, it just has this really lovely texture, um, which makes a solid colour really, really nice if you can kind of add a different element, like a texture or something like that. Now, in complete contrast to the one I just showed you, this is a super bulky, fluffy knit. Can you, I don't know if you, can you see that texture? So it's quite thick. Um, I'd kind of liken it to um, a fake fur, I guess, but thinner. It's actually wool. Um, I got this one from Mood Fabrics in the States. Now this is the cropped length. So for me, um, it's better with a bulky fabric to cut this cropped length. Not to say that you can't do a longer length, um, just know that it is going to be bulky. So if you cut a longer length and you're sort of having trouble with it, it doesn't kind of feel right, keep folding until you get the right length for your body, for your outfit. It's all going to be different. So you can see how it just fits. It just kind of drops over the top. So it's warm and cuddly and then you can put like a keep it simple or even I've just got a cami underneath. Um, so there is that one. Oh, and again, um, the crew neck, and I've just um, put merino wool um, cuffs and neckline. Now, styling wise, I definitely find that I have better balance if I put something slim on the bottom. So whether it's jeans or a skirt, like the heart light, but something that's gonna fit you around here, then you see, it just makes it, gives it that little bit more um, balance when you have a bulky top because this is very very bulky when you have a bulky top on top I think that outfit is actually <laughs> quite cute if you live somewhere that you need more than one layer is going to give you this is the keep it simple turtleneck so lovely slimline top and the, the crew neck fits beautifully over the top. Layering it with that slim line underneath shows off your figure just that little bit more. Let's talk cotton lycra. So this is the hip length, so the same as the first pink one. You can see how it is, you see the difference, this is like straight up and down. So it will be important to put this with something more slim lined on the bottom. 
I'd probably put it with a pair of jeans. So let me go and pop a pair on and we can see the difference. This is the first time I've put on jeans <laughs> in a couple of months. Um, so yeah, Cotton Lycra, I was actually really, really surprised. I'm not a huge fan of Cotton Lycra unless the garment is fitted. Um, so for me, I like the Foxies and the Heartlight in Cotton Lycra, but I actually think it is really cute and it still works really, really well despite the bulk of the fabric. So that's it with jeans and again, long sleeve. Um, I've used a rib knit on the cuff and the neckline and this is the crew neckline um, and obviously cotton lycra um, this is from uh, both are from Wattle Hill both of the fabrics so I actually will get a lot of wear out of this surprisingly to me okay well we are in cotton mode this one is cotton too it has like a laminated um, finish on it but it is cotton and it has no vertical give at all so the only thing you need to take into account is this section here it will be tighter through the arm because there's no absolutely no stretch at all that way the stretch is this way so I would recommend if you're going to use a fabric that has um, no vertical stretch at all I would recommend you do your fit test in something else and just check that this through here still fits you um, and if it doesn't if it's a little bit tight there is an adjustment in the tutorial in the adjustment section super super easy like nothing is difficult in this pattern at all so this is the hip length again long sleeves crew neck and this um you're going to hear me say this a lot <laughs> this is one of my favorites this is one of the first ones i made um, and i've been dying to wear it so now I've made this video I can and the great thing about cotton is it is just as comfortable in the summer um, for those days that are just a little bit cooler or to put it on at night time it looks just as cute with a pair of denim shorts this beautiful fabric is very very stretchy like it <laughs> it just grows so the thing that we found is that because again the stretch is this way sometimes the sleeves even though you've cut them the same length are going to be longer so um, if your fabric is very very stretchy horizontally um, and it's got a decent amount that way um, then what I would do is try it on before you put the cuff on so you can see whether you need to make a little adjustment and just take it off the end really easy as I said nothing's difficult in this pattern so if you're going to use a fabric that is really really stretchy you are going to get this gorgeous just loose easy relaxed um sloppy <laughs> kind of look and if you've got that in a beautiful fabric a beautiful print then it's just sensational who said sloppy can't be chic um again this is the crew neck um, and the long sleeve and this is the the hipster length um, and this again is from Wattle Hill and as you can see it translates beautifully in both winter and summer looks and if you just need a little bit of a change there you go it's a shorter jumper and I kind of like these sleeves being a little bit long this is the long length this is sweater knit um it's from lush it's kind of a little bit brushed on the outside um and then i've got rib knit cuffs um and then this is the crew neck now i was undecided how wintry i wanted this one to be so i grabbed the funnel neck out of the but pattern i have a funnel neck top so you can blend the BUT um, and actually add this neck. So you just grab the neckline of um, the funnel neck for, or the cowl neck um, for the BUT, the neckline and the pattern piece, and you just whack it on this one and you have an even more wintry top. Now the long length is awesome with leggings. So it just skims my butt. Um, now we all know, we're all, we all have different um, 
leg lengths and body lengths. So if this one isn't long enough for you, just add straight onto the bottom. No cutting or folding, just straight onto the bottom, the, the amount of length that you need and sew it up as normal. Pair of sneakers. This is the relaxed neckline. So if you want something a little bit more open, this is the neckline for you. <laughs> um, again, long sleeves. You can see there is quite a bit of body in this fabric um, and it still works. So this is the hip length. Um, I've used this gorgeous glitter rib on the cuffs and the neck and the hem. Um, and then this is a cotton um, knit, is a jacquard, so it's quite thick. Um, and they're all from Waffle Hill Fabrics. And the colour is so good. And the open neck of the relaxed neckline is awesome as a summer throw on. Same neckline, same length, different fabric. This one is a scuba. Um, so it still has body. It's got a decent amount of stretch. It holds its shape quite well. Um, your neckline will likely, um, I don't know if you can notice, my neckline seems a little bit bigger. Um, scuba has less resilience most of the time um, in my experience. And this is my last little piece of this one and I'm glad I managed to get this out of it. Oh, if you have a piece of fabric that you absolutely love but you don't have enough, all is not lost. You can pop a little tricky um, seam down the centre back. I've got one in a ponty that I'll show you in a minute and I added a trim so you can't see that seam. Um, if you do put a seam, try to get it as flat as you can in your sewing. So. Um, top stitch it or just iron the heck out of that seam so it's nice and flat. And as I said, the open neck is great as a summer throw on. Okay, so let's get into the half sleeve. This is the half sleeve. It's in um, a really light kind of sweater knit, um, gorgeously lightweight. Um, you can see, you can see my body a lot more under such a light fabric. Um, I've done a contrast cuff in a ponty. It's really, really tight, so my cuffs look quite tight. The relaxed neckline and the back. I've popped a stripe down the back and I show you how to do that um, in the tutorial. There's a couple of different ways you can do it. So this is the, uh, the cropped length. So if your pants underneath or your skirt underneath is low slung, like down on your hips, just layer it. Unless you want to show your midriff, which is fine. Um, just layer it over the top um, and you've just got a really, really cute look. And just your top underneath, make that fitted so it gives that contrast um, and it's more flattering because you have the roominess of the top. On the top. Do you want to see that back again? Isn't that cute? Just like a little statement. And that's a beautiful, beautiful thing when you have a design that is um, very, very simple, um, which is honestly, that is my aesthetic. That's what I like to wear. It means that you can dress it up with, you know, amazing fabrics or little quirky little things like a stripe down the back or a contrast cuff, um, just to put your signature on it. And look how beautifully the cropped length sits over the symphony skirt. As again, fitted through here, you've got the flirtiness at the bottom. Um, and then if you need to, if you're feeling this is a bit too much, just tuck the front in. And you've automatically got that little bit of um, shape. This one is um, a really light sweater knit. Um, now what I wanted to show you was how super versatile this half sleeve length is. Pop on a skirt, pair of heels, you can wear it to work and you're super comfortable. That looks totally dressed up. And again, if you need a little bit more shape, just tuck it in, even grab a belt 
and pop it under. And with it tucked in at the front, really, really easy, just classic look for work. Just by adding heels and a little bit of um, sophistication. With your favourite boots, winterised, another more dressed up option with the follow me skirt. If you're wearing a fitted dress and it gets a little bit cooler and you need something to go over the top, I love this look because you're turning it into a tube skirt and it doesn't detract because it's still, it gives you that slim down the bottom um, and you've just got that relaxed look up the top. This is the Going Places dress in the fitted version um, and the fabric um, is, it's a very textured sweater knit, similar to the pink one um, right at the beginning. And as I said, half sleeve, crew neck, very, very versatile. Next up, we have the short sleeve. Now the short sleeve doesn't have a cuff. It's just lovely and free and easy. You probably saw this outfit in the pleats video. So it's just lovely and relaxed. And then if you wanted to, just to give yourself a bit more shape, you can tuck it in. Uh, this one, um, again, a lightweight sweater knit, crew neck, short sleeve and hip length. And again, you can wear it in summer as a t-shirt, as a lightweight sweater, whatever works for you. Here is a Ponty. So Ponty has a lot of body and you can see. See how it's very straight up and down, like it barely moves to my body. Um, and again, short sleeve and crew neck, and I'll tell you about these things in a sec. So you need to be careful about what you wear with a fabric like Ponty and be aware of what you're getting. So the shorter the length, the more flattering it's going to be. But there are times when you don't, that's not a consideration. So if you have like a, you know, you want a nice, warm, big um, inside windshader, sweater, whatever, um, then Ponty's great. If you've got a great print or a great stripe or something like that that you want to use, then it's great. Um, and even if you just tuck it, just to give yourself um, a little bit more shape where that this fabric doesn't allow for it, um, then it totally works. Okay, the stripes. If you have a fabric that you don't have enough of that's like your favorite and you still wanna use it, you totally can by adding a center back seam. Um, now with something like a stripe, when you add a center back seam, it's really, really obvious. If you've got a print, your center back seam probably won't be obvious, but if you've got a plane or a stripe that's quite bold like this, then it is going to be obvious. So you can do something like this, and the back one actually covers up the seam. I did it just on the back originally, but loved it so much that I put it on the front as well. Um, and it is so easy. I've literally just sewn it over the top. You can um, do it as like a panel as well. Um, and again, I show you how to, to calculate that on your pattern, but it works pretty well. Let's talk snugly and warm. Really soft, furry sweater knit. Um, very stretchy, very, very stretchy. This is the long length. Awesome over a pair of leggings, pair of jeans. Um, long sleeves and this is the turtleneck so depending on what your fabric is is going to depend on how this sits so um, sew it up try the neck on and just see how it feels but this is lovely and snuggly and warm and just as fabulous with a pair of fitted pants or jeans in if you need that little bit of extra and it is so gorgeously warm 
This one is a uh, crepe scuba. So it's a scuba knit with um, a texture on the top. It's quite thin. Um, you can see it has quite a bit of body, but not too much. Um, it's got quite a tight stretch um, and, and some give vertically, but it's tight. So you can see this is the hip length. And again, the turtleneck, see how the turtleneck sits up a lot um, firmer. Um, it doesn't drape as much and that is all down to the fabric. So awesome, just over a pair of pants. And look how perfectly they go with the wide leg pant from the Urban Flares because you've got that fitted and then the wide. So dressed up a little bit more um, for work, going somewhere in winter that you need to be a little bit dressier. And last but not least, we have the hood. So I thought as we just had these pants on, I would show you sophisticated. Um, really lightweight sweater knit. If it's a sophisticated look, paired back with a sophisticated pant and a heel. I've got a stripe down one arm and I show you how to do that in the pattern. Um, this is the hip length and of course the long sleeve and the hood. What do you think? Paired back with jeans. Really cute with the simply skirt. Tucked in or out. Um, this is a really lightweight sweater knit, uh, same as the one that I showed you before. So you can see my body through it and it's great. Um, has a very transseasonal top and really cute with a pair of shorts. Now in the instructions, um, it's optional whether you put the drawstring or not, um, but those instructions are there for you. This one is a really bouncy scuba knit, so um, quite a tight stretch. Has a lot of body, but lovely and easy. Um, the hood, really cute. And look how comfy it is with those super stretchy bamboo pleats. Really, really comfy and easy for hanging around at home. And last but not least, I made a dress. You can make the dress any length that you want. Um, I've, for this one, I cut it at the tall long length um, and I added um, a double thickness depth of the band. Um, it has the hood. There we go. And I added the drawstring with um, a waxed shoelace. Really, really cute little metal ends. Um, and it's really, really cute, probably a little bit short, <laughs> um, but would look just as good over, over leggings. Um, and it just makes something warm and snuggly. And here it is with leggings. So I guess it's kind of like a, a long line top. Um, if you team it with a pair of leggings, um, and of course, as I said, um, you can always make it longer, whatever suits you, whatever suits your body or the fabric you're using. Um, now the fabric is a brushed sweater knit from Lush. It's actually really, really warm. Um, I've teamed it back with the lightweight sweater knit that I used in a couple of the other ones from uh, Super Cheap. And look how great it looks over a pair of jeans, um, like a pair of skinny jeans. It's really turned a dress into a long line top. And it's as simple as just widening the band and I use the longest length. So what did you think? Have you chosen your favorite? So let's go through the sneak peek week timetable. So starting from tomorrow morning, we have the test photos. Um, so that starts with Mel first thing in the morning um, and then that runs through for the whole week. Now on Sunday night, um, so this coming Sunday night is the beginning of the pattern release. That will be at 6.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Um, and you'll see on the website a banner across the top 
that will count down to when that starts. And then once it starts, it will count down to when it finishes. So it doesn't matter what time zone you're in, go to the website, have a look up the top, um, and that will tell you how many hours you have to go um, before the special discount runs out on this pattern. Right down below, or above, depending on <laughs> what device you're on, um, which one is your favorite, or if you've got a fabric chosen already, um, and from those, we will choose a winner that will be drawn on Sunday before the pattern release. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the group.